All right. Um, <clears throat> time now is 11.08 a.m. in the morning on January 7th, I believe. Okay, yeah, it is January 7th. Shite. Um, yeah, so I just woke up recently. Um, I woke up actually before the alarm rang. I woke up at around 10, 10, 40. I fell asleep at around 3, 10 a.m. So 3, 10 to 10, 40. That is about seven and a half hours. And I naturally woke up. I, I didn't wake up because of an alarm or something. So, um, yeah, natural seven and a half hours. Today, um, yeah, it's going to be from now on college update. And that's kind of ironic because I'm not going, going to college today. So today's a Friday and it's a day off, but I still have homework. So my plans for today is I got film 30 homework. I got to do the laundry, which is very important because as you can see, my clothes are a mess and um, I need to do something about that. As a college student living in a house whose host doesn't provide lunch. And as someone who likes to stay in the house for a whole day, there will be many instances in the future where I just don't even have lunch. But that's unhealthy. Thus, I have a bunch of snacks. But that is still unhealthy, so I would have to figure something out. I just had bagels for breakfast. Um, yeah, about the, the hand touching thing. I don't, I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. The host, the woman, she touched her book, the pills, like her bottle of pills, the fridge handle, which I'm sure a lot of people have touched. And then um, she just grabbed the bagel and just grabbed it with her bare hands like the bagel isn't even food. Like it's a piece of Play-Doh or something. Or maybe she and a lot of people have a notion that their hands are always clean. It's like that they can touch anything and everything's always clean. It's not how it fucking works, man. It's not how it works. So I asked JT if she's free i asked okay what are your plans today and you're like well uh not much homework dancing i'm gonna stay at home the whole day and i'm like oh so you have a lot of homework and jt's like yeah a lot um am i using a, a, di oh, a different hand hold up i feel like this one makes more sense <laughs> i can deconstruct a meal you know i don't have to have a bowl of rice and a bowl of soup and some veggies and some meat in order to survive every single day for lunch. I can break it down as long as I have the proteins I need. Yeah, I don't have a lot of friends now, but at least I have food and shelter, right? So at least I'm hanging there, at least I'm alive, right? Also, as of, I'm speaking right now, um, I'm doing the laundry. Doing the laundry. Something that, that an American would say. Doing the laundry. Doing the laundry. I mean, what more can I ask for? Bowl of Carsa noodles. <sighs> Taiwanese salty fried chicken with minced pork and milk tea, peanuts and, and sprouts. And slices of pork and beef. Or maybe not, I can just eat shit for all I care, am I right? Um, I forgot to mention that yesterday is the first day in my whole life, I think, where I have not spoken a single Cantonese in 24 hours. So I was given this basket to store my newly cleaned clothes after I take them out of the dry ma drying machine. So I was like, okay, let me just make sure it's clean. You want me to put clothes in this basket? You want me to put fucking clothes in this basket? Even though this looks good at the front, this tastes disgusting. I hate this. Kill me. Quick update here, it's 1.55 and my clothes are still not dry. I don't know what's wrong with the drying machine. It's not dry. 
Um, it could be broken, I don't know. Um, JT just texted me because ever since I got into this college for over a year, every single week I've been receiving these emails about these weekly mingles for international students. And I usually just ignore them because they're very lame and if I join in, it's probably cringe. But for someone very outward like JT, uh, JT texted me saying that maybe we should join it. So you know what? Let's join it and see what happens. I mean, I'm just going to turn off my camera. It's quiet in the class. So, yeah. Because <laughs> they are taking winner section, so. <laughs> no one's talking. He's killing me. You see, did you guys again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
but actually a lot of other people didn't understand so much so that one of the students actually straight up asked the professor in the discussion board what the hell are we even supposed to do watching episode 5 of Komi Sama Komi Show this was a pain in the ass because it, it kept stopping and it wasn't even like one bar and then nothing and one bar and then nothing it's five bars full and then it's completely gone five bars full and then it's completely gone all right <laughs> Yeah, um, I returned home from the cinema, and um, and then we went into the movies, and um, before going in, we had to line up and we had to show our tickets, and um, our uh, vaccine card and uh, our ID. I don't have a vaccine card. All I have is a photo of my vaccine record from Hong Kong, and I showed showed it to a woman, and she's like, "Okay, that's good." She she didn't do this. She's like, "Okay." And then I showed her my passport, which has my ID in it. Fine, you can go. Now, the host, the woman, and her son are very... They seem very upset about having to show their cards. They even complain, like, this is Santa Monica. This is not Los Angeles. Like, this is... We don't follow Los Angeles laws, right? Like, why do we still have to do this? It's bullshit. Oh, also, last night... Last night, the girl who DM'd me. Now, I have a sneaky, sneaky feeling that this girl or this woman or, or whatever will play somewhat of a role in the next few months of my life. I don't know how, but I have a sneaky feeling. So I'm going to be giving her a code name. And um, that's going to be... Um, Denis. That's a terrible name. I'm thinking of uh, Claire Denis. Okay, her pseudonym is going to be Diana. So Diana is the girl who DM'd me many months ago. And then I just spoke to her a little bit a couple days ago uh, before I went to my lecture. And um, she said that she's going to move to Santa Monica in about a month, which is good news because if she moves down, in about a month, um, this means that I and JT will be meeting her in about a month. Last night, something interesting happened. Not interesting, but it has implications. Diana went to the Hong Kong Student Association WhatsApp group and asked if anyone wants to rent a room with her here in Santa Monica. Parenthesis, just girls only. Because if boys are there, then it's going to be a fuck party, isn't it? So... <laughs> There's a spider in the bathroom and ants too, which is why I constantly check. I pull out my uh, second cabinet and check if my books have been eaten or not because I'm really afraid. But tomorrow I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to go to the church, have lunch with the pastor. I'm going to get food and then go back to the church and have lunch with him. Maybe Tim's going to show up. I don't know. Over there. 
All right, uh, time now is 11.05 a.m. in the morning on January 9th. Um, I slept from 2.30, which is amazing. I slept very early, 2.30 till 9.50-ish. Um, and it was a really good sleep, so I, I, I enjoy it. I had a dream, but yeah, I'm gonna have lunch with the pastor and Tim. It's gonna be fine. And uh, Mary made three Instagram stories where she hung out with people like Cherry again. And goddamn, she is cute. I don't know why, but every single photo she's in, she just, she's just dazzling. Dazzling, she's enchanting. All right, I've been tricked. I went to the wrong side of the road. Okay, hope that does the fucking trick. I don't fucking know. Uh. Oh, oh, all right all right um it's 1 53 p.m um yeah finished the church service but uh yeah they're nice i wish i could have stayed longer but um tim had to do some stuff like work stuff yeah i'm just i'm just glad i'm able to have lunch and um <laughs> and it's not snacks but um yeah i feel like both tom and cedric are also in this boring state of living because they really don't have anything to do and i feel like i'm going to be like that there are two ways to handle this there are two ways two attitudes two mindsets one mindset is okay well I'm just going to sit at home, not do anything, and live out the rest of my life. And when college ends, maybe my life will start getting interesting. Or the opposite. You know what? Since I don't have anything important to do right now, it is the critical time to just go out and meet as many people as possible and, and do stuff, have fun, and enjoy life. Or maybe not enjoy life, but do something important anyways. And I want to do the latter. The meaningful life is not going to be enjoyable because to me... Um, my purpose of living is to make movies and use movies as a medium to support Hong Kong and my own people. Alright, quick updates here. Time now is 8.14pm. I just had dinner and a roughly 4 minute phone call with my grandma because my grandma's just so worried about me. Um, yeah, um, the dinner is... was orange chicken with rice which is basically um what americans think chinese food is but even though my host never said oh yeah this is chinese food do you miss it and i'm glad she didn't say that i still didn't really enjoy it not because it's uh, not because i have the notion that it's what americans think a chinese food is it legitimately is not good the orange chicken in question is basically store-bought frozen chicken nuggets um but um yeah you know a lot of people are concerned about me so me being here all all alone on my own do feel kind of scary but i haven't cried yet and i'm still receiving support from people um so i hope that stays the same all right, time now is 12.05 afternoon on January 10th. Um, yeah, um, um, yeah, I had a good sleep. Very good, even though I went to bed at 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, and I didn't even finish Funny Games. I only watched half of it. All right, I just downloaded Uber Eats and tried it. It's very easy to download and to navigate, but whole holy shit is it expensive holy shit i placed the order already so there's no turning back but i'm not going to do this for 
the next week. This is too expensive. So I got myself a broken rice plate that's pork. And that plate itself is $14. Okay, it's 14. Um 14.5, I think. And then um I'm I can add sides, so I'm like, okay, add an egg and then add a new sauce. And that added it up to 18. And then plus taxes, it went from 18 to 24. And then plus tips, it went from 24 to 27.37, which is $213.5. This meal better be even for McDonald's. Even for McDonald's, it's like $8 per burger. Eight? Eight? Eight, eight, sixty-four, sixty-four for a burger. Sixty-four. You can get the same burger for half the price in Hong Kong. So yeah, LA is messed up. It it is extremely messed up. Two hundred and thirteen Hong Kong dollars. Come on. Shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? It says 19.71. I don't know why. Alright, so let's try Whole Foods Ginger Ale. Never tried it before. Is there real ale in it? Let's see. No, it is exactly like Hong Kong's ginger ale, except less gingery, more sweet. All right, here comes the food. This is, okay, it's weird because the receipt says $19.71, even though in the app it says 27 point something. So if it's 19.71, that would be about One hundred and forty. All right. Well, there's a sauce in this thing. By the way, the extra peanut butter sauce is fifty cents, so it's not that expensive. But yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this, this, this. All right. So let's see if this is any good. Just the pork. <laughs> it's not even properly cut. It's a whole string. It looks fine. It smells good, but we'll see. With the rice. The dog is staring at me because he wants food. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're out again. Shit. So only seven people came to school today. Seven. Which is insane, which is absolutely insane. All right, the host just called me because I'm not early enough for her fucking dinner. And then afterwards, I just grabbed my phone and went out to the classroom, get some fresh air, whatever. And then the Mexican girl who was speaking to Bean came to me asking for my notes saying that when she typed in her notes in her iPad, her iPad crashed. So she would like, she, it would be great if I could share my notes with her uh, for chapters one and two. So I said, oh yeah. And so I gave her my email. Well, she asked for my email. I gave her my email and then, um, but um, yeah, I'm just happy that I'm able to make some connection here in this class and only seven people. What the fuck? Like, this is, uh, I've never lived in Los Angeles before. I've never lived outside of my own country before, okay? I'm the only Asian in the class. This is my first time having face-to-face -face college. And the class has only seven people. That's, that's no good. That's no good. 
All right. Um, time now is January 11th, 11.20 a.m. in the morning. Now, early this morning, when I checked my phone, JT asked me to hang out today instead. Because tomorrow, because yesterday, on Monday, she actually didn't go to the bank. <sighs> Here I am. I'm back with my adventure bag. Um. <sighs> Alright. This is not a very safe place to be in. JT's right there. She said she doesn't have to, but it's best if she goes back home before sunset. And the sun is beginning to set right now. And so um, I'm gonna have to eat seven kiwis for the next two weeks, which is fine because kiwis have an abundance of vitamin C. And I think vitamin C will help me uh, reinforce my immune system, especially uh, against the Omicron in Los Angeles. I spent 1,240.824 Hong Kong dollars last week that is insane <laughs> fuck shit my hair is embarrassing uh anyways time now is 11 30 a.m in the morning on january 12th um it's a wednesday again it's been a whole week since i have um uh since i have uh been officially completely alone all right, so I arrived at the bus stop. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I looked at the app. I looked at the app that monitors, you know, buses and public transportation and stuff. And apparently the next bus will arrive at 31 minutes. I need to wait for the bus for 31 minutes. Ain't no fucking way. Our public transportation in, in Los Angeles, this shit. All right, it'll be one hour and 16 minutes if I walk there and It'll be, um, it'll be 52 minutes if I wait for the bus to go there. So it doesn't make much difference. I'll be late otherwise. All right, I've arrived at the next station. It's surprisingly, surprisingly more far away than I expected. All right, it's 5.32 p.m. I'm fucking late. Not by a lot, but by like 17 minutes, which is still extremely late. So, uh, yay. All right just finished today's lecture oh my god this <laughs> where we are in an absolutely terrible situation absolutely terrible there are nine students in our class but yesterday uh two days ago there were only seven people and then um and then today there's only six including me and the reason being is that one of the people is confirmed positive coronavirus positive and um apparently according to the professor two of us two out of the nine of us also may have been exposed to the coronavirus because maybe their family member had it maybe their friends have it so it's th out of nine three out of nine okay one confirmed two possible three in total out of nine holy fuck this is it, it can't be worse it can't be worse than this i mean i mean fuck I, I can't fucking believe it i came to usa came to la 12 days in and then this shit happens like i'm already not complaining about the food prices and the terrible bus service i mean i waited for at the bus stop for 40 minutes today like this this mask is not enough okay 
this mask is not enough. Even my professor said, this is not enough. I need an N95, okay? I need a real professional surgical mask. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I shouldn't have gone to USA. I shouldn't have come here. I mean, look, I come here for three things, right? I don't even want to fucking touch it. I don't want to fucking touch anything. The string on the bus, this, I don't even want to touch it. Fuck it, whatever. As of now, that door handle is pretty much the first thing I touch after I return home. And that is messed up and I need to be more aware of it once again. You know, I, I noticed these things. I noticed that my nails are a little dirtier than they used to be. And I noticed that I could feel that some of my nails hurt when I press them. And I suspect that it is exactly because I am more dirty now. Um, also, I may want to return to Hong Kong because living here sucks. I don't enjoy living here at all, actually. Like, so far, I haven't enjoyed myself in LA. Not at all. Other than the, the Santa Monica Pier. That lunch was amazing, but that's it. And I'm tired. I don't know why. I don't want to go to college tomorrow. I don't want to go to college ever until this Omicron thing blows over. It's not terrible, but so far, my experience here isn't really all that great. Um, yeah, but I'm not naive, you know, I, I knew it's going to be like this. I just didn't know that it's going to be this bad. So, uh, yeah. All right. Time now is 1123 AM in the morning on, um, January, um, January 13. Um, my right eye is very itchy and then my certain parts of my skin is feeling really painful i don't know what's going on man but anyways i received an email from the professor saying um um she just went to uh cbs in playa vista which is very friggin' far away from santa monica i just checked and um she bought three self-test kits and um i may have to do that tomorrow me not doing that today is already a bit of a problem i've already risked i'm already risking one more day of possible covid infection i just cut myself up a kiwi not very well cut but i tried i'm gonna have some biscuits and yogurt later and that'll be my lunch I really wanted to make myself eggs. At least let me make eggs, please. I need proteins. Even in Hong Kong, if you tell me to go out, find a clinic, buy a testing kit all by myself, I wouldn't know what to do. So now that I'm in Los Angeles, it's even more difficult for me to do such thing. Yeah, this is fucked up. I, I don't know how to feel about this. Wow. So contacting the pastor is a great idea is a great freaking idea because i just told the professor hi uh the pastor hi i'm sorry i can't go to church on sunday because somebody in my class has got the covid and uh that leads to the main reason why i spoke to him do you know where can i find a testing kit and how and so he's like can you talk now and i'm like on the phone and he's like yeah so i'm like oh okay so we talked on the phone and for about eight minutes and he said that he has a testing kit in his home and that um and that he can bring it to me tonight so um it's a miracle oh my god oh my god Thir i've i've stayed in la for 13 days 13 days in and this shit happens Anyways, I washed the plates and the fork that I used to eat the kiwi with. Hopefully, um, the host doesn't notice because she's objected to the idea that I'm eating food in my own room, even though I should be. So I grabbed a spoon, washed it, grabbed a spoon, and I came out and I just wanted to ask the host a few questions. Whether she has extra masks that are more effective and useful than mine. And um, also maybe the fact that I have to take the booster shot, the third injection. 
and she just kept talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. The professor sent an email about um about 25 minutes ago saying that after hearing from my classmates it is confirmed that the lecture is cancelled. All right, um, 7.30 p.m. About two minutes ago, um, the pastor came by, called me on WhatsApp, gave me this. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe, I, this is a miracle. I know this isn't a huge deal or anything, but like, damn, I am so fucking lucky. If it weren't for him, I'll have to leave super early tomorrow, somehow take a bus or walk to a pharmacy not even sure if it's going to be open, if it has any kits or not. I, I don't drive. I can't drive. I don't know any friends who drive. So I can only either walk or use a bus. There's no way in hell I'm going to use a metro. And then if I have to test and kit, I have to go out. I have to meet people, go to the public transport and risk infecting others or being infected. This, this, this saves lives. This do I because I'm running out of, I'm running out of water. Look at how much water I have left. I thought I would never be able to finish this. Guess what? It's almost finished. So, uh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, um, <clears throat> time now is 12.31. Um, just woke up. Yes, uh, finally I get to be able to sleep for a long time. Maybe I can buy food. Maybe I can buy lunch. I want to eat eggs, actually, because I realized that it's been a long time since I've eaten eggs. And it's weird because Americans... Westerners are supposed to eat a lot of eggs, but and, and there are eggs in the fridge outside, but I just can't cook them because I'm not allowed to cook unless I do it in secret. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to eat something different. You know, it's always like the same few fucking things. Bagels, eggos, oatmeal, and everything else basically suck. You know, like Cheerios, I fucking hate Cheerios. They suck. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm really bored, you know, I just want to fucking, I don't know, eat whatever other kinds of breakfast there is in this world. And eggs, like, I just want to make myself some eggs, man. But, um, yeah, I was looking for something different. I was looking for a muffin, I can't find it. I was looking for a croissant, but I can't find it. And then she's like, oh, I thought you were looking for bagels. Dude, I had fucking bagels yesterday morning. Or no, well, two days ago. I had toast yesterday morning. Which is basically the same fucking thing. It's just bread. It's just fucking bread. So fine. Eggos. I don't even want to fucking eat it. But whatever. Fine. So I ate two bits of bagel. Uh, eggos. With. And I put butter and syrup on top of both of them. And then I put another layer of Nutella on one of them. And she's like. What? You, no, 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 you don't do it like that. You don't do it like that. Butter with syrup and then with Nutella on top? That's weird. What? Is this like an American rule? Is this a rule that all American knows in their heart? Or is this like um like like a household rule? Like it just applies to this house. But, but it's whatever. It's not illegal. It's not fucking legal. So I did it. And she was really upset about the fact that I woke up late. So she's here. But she's really upset about the fact that I woke up late. She's like, well, eating breakfast in the afternoon? It's not breakfast anymore. And... Yeah, and she kept talking about it. And, um... I don't fucking know anymore. I just want to go home. I just want to go back to Hong Kong. I mean, yeah, being in Hong Kong sucks too. I mean, it's it's a loose-loose situation. You either fucking die or you fucking die. There is no other way around this, man. Or I could go to the UK. Maybe maybe things would be better there. Maybe things would be better there. Or worse, the weather is terrible. Or I could go to Taiwan. That's actually what I'm looking at right now. It's Taiwan. I'd say Taiwan is a pretty damn good place to live. I mean, the environmentally it's fucking amazing high tech education system actually good and it's not that expensive there i i 
I'd say Taiwan, you know, that's that's what I'm looking at right now. And that, and that is if it's safe, if it doesn't get fucking invaded. I don't even know if I have to put egos in the microwave or not. You, you put bagels in the microwave, but you don't put egos, even though egos and bagels are also in the freezer. So, so they're both frozen. They're both ice. So why don't you put them in the microwave as well? What's I don't I don't fucking get it. Why don't you use hands? I don't even use my hands. Nothing makes sense, man. Nothing fucking makes any sense. And then, um, yeah, after the ego, she's like, okay, are you awake now? Are you awake now? Finally, do I have to pat the walls in case you walk into them? And then she took me to the bathroom. She's like, I noticed that there are wet towels. And yeah, there was one roll left. Like last night, it was two rolls. Today morning, it was one roll left, one clean roll because she hung another one behind the door. And I found an excuse. I said, there isn't enough space behind the door. When in fact, I don't want her to touch my fucking towel. Nor do I want my towel to be behind the door where people will touch. The door itself is dirty. Ants and spiders are crawling on it. The hook is dirty. The door handle is dirty. Especially in pandemic times. Especially in Los fucking Angeles. I don't want to fucking... I don't, I don't want to shower a towel that's been touching everything. And then on top of that, she's beginning to question why do I use so much pa toilet paper? And I said, I used to wipe things. And she's like, no, you don't do that. Is that another fucking American rule? Or is this like um, like a household rule? I don't understand. I already tried my fucking best. Back in Hong Kong, I, I used to use so much more toilet paper and I used to wash hands so much more frequently. I've already toned them down to a T when I came here. But it's not enough. I'm not normal enough. And I wanted to put down my stuff. I wanted to settle down. I wanted to change my clothes from my street clothes to this. And he was like, no, do the laundry now. So fuck it, fine, do, do the laundry now. So I'm doing the laundry now. I just want to fucking leave. I hate being here. Los Angeles, terrible place. Um, It's a shithole. It, it truly is. And it's not like I didn't expect it to be a shithole. It's just that... It's even worse than I thought it is. I don't know. Taiwan would be the optimal answer for now. For now, it would be Taiwan. I just don't fight. I hate USA, man. I just had the cup noodle and the old woman was like, oh, soup, soup. Is it a good soup? It's not a fucking soup. It's a noodle. Um, yeah. Um, and then I was, and then she was like, oh, so Chinese New Year, is it January 31st? Or I'm like, okay, February 1st. And she's like, oh, we celebrate Chinese New Year's. And I was actually kind of shocked. Really? Someone like you? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll have a Chinese, cel Chinese New Year celebration. And then she said, what meal do you eat? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I can't think of a meal because usually in Chinese New Year's, there are no specific meals. It's not how it works. Chinese holidays are not like that. All right. So 15 minutes have passed. I hope this is, I hope this is accurate. Wait, hold on. I need, I need to look again. Like, are there any faint lines under T? I don't think there is. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. It's been three days since I have had a good lunch. Seriously. Um, today's a Friday. 
Wednesday, I didn't have lunch. Thursday, I didn't have lunch. All right. Uh, fuck me. Uh, time now is uh, 10.47 a.m. in the morning on January uh, 15th. This is bad. This is bad, okay? I don't feel good. And if I stay for more than two days in this goddamn house, it's going to get worse. So I have to leave today. I'm going to go out on my own. I'm going to, first of all, buy Burger King or anything like that. Next, uh, I'm going to buy stuff. I'm going to go to Target, buy water, snacks, drinks, and uh, disinfectant wipes, you know. And then I'm going to go to Walgreens and um, or CVS to buy masks. And, and Target and Walgreens can switch. Went to the balance. This one. Um, I lost four pounds. I went from 135 to 131. I'm at 131 pounds right now. Yes, I lost four pounds. All right, I'm out of my house. I'm out of my house for the first time in three days or two days because I didn't leave the place for the last two days. But I'm out and it's a good thing I'm out because if I stay in that fucking house any longer, my skin is not going to be able to handle because um, I'm completely alone and I will be adventuring alone today. My first solo adventure. You know what? I'm going to turn one 180, 1080p. Um, I need to buy water because I'm running out of water. I've run out of water in my own home, in my own room. And I don't want to drink the host's water because her water comes directly from the tap. And the pitcher, the glass that plastic giant plastic jar they call it pitcher for some reason uh is dirty it's never washed so i ain't drinking anything out of that god i hate this city <laughs> hate this place a lot if it weren't for the political situation in hong kong i would go back to hong kong a hundred percent a thousand percent okay but i don't know if it's safe to like actually eat food outside so I may change my plan a little. I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to Target first, and then and then I'm gonna or or any supermarket or grocery store, however you call them, and then I'm gonna go to Walgreens and then I'm gonna go to McDonald's and I'm gonna buy food so that I can eat back home. I think that would be a safer choice. All right. Okay, you know what? I've changed my mind. Uh, I was gonna go there because there's a grocery store called Ralph's. But uh, you know what, I'm gonna go to Walgreens first and to go there I have to take a fucking bus. I have to take a fucking bus to a pharmacy. <laughs> You're stupid. All right, at the same bus stop that I was three days ago and uh, yeah. All right, I'm here. So I just, um, I just looked cool. Okay, my, okay, fuck me. So I just looked at Google Maps and apparently there's a difference between Walgreens photo and Walgreens pharmacy. Cause for some fucking reason, um, certain Walgreens don't sell pharmaceutical medication, but they take photos, so. I don't know if I'm going to the right one or not. All right, right. But uh, I checked Google Maps and I think there is a pharmaceutical beside the Walgreens photo. If there isn't one, I'm going to be so pissed. But there should be one and there are Trader Joe's nearby. Well, there is a Trader Joe's nearby and a Ralph's nearby. Ralph's, Ralph's, whatever. So, um... So uh, I can buy stuff in the meanwhile, and then maybe I can even buy some food in the meanwhile, take the bus, go back home, eat it at home. Yay. My only concern is that if I eat food at home, I'm going to have allergic reactions again. So I'd love it to dine in, except it's also a little unsafe. So I don't, I don't know. This is a weird ass place. All right, great timing, bitch. Great fucking timing. All right. 
What, what is, is a train passing by? What's going on? I'm scared. What the? <laughs> what? What? This is so stupid. All right. Open up. Oh. Man. All right. All right, I see Ralph's. I see uh, Trader Joe's. And uh, the place should be here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I hate everything. All right, it should be right here. This is Trader Joe's and it should be right here. Dude, this man wasn't even wearing a mask. Are you serious? You've got to be fucking serious there. You know, it's, it's peaked. COVID has peaked and he's not wearing a mask. All right, Walgreens, here we go. Allergy. Hmm, maybe I do need some. You know, I thought this is a pharmacy. What is this? What? What? Can't find any masks. There's no one to help me. I don't know what's going on. All right. This is not the one I want. All right, screw it. I'm not gonna buy masks. I'm gonna just buy some food. Oh my God, what now? Why are there flowers here? Why? I'm so lost. I don't know where to find water. I don't know where to find anything. I don't want pizza. I don't want, what the fuck? Okay, I've returned to Walgreens. Things here seem to be much better for some reason. I don't know anymore. Okay, um, I'm gonna need one more snack and one more drink maybe perhaps. Um, I'd say chocolate milk would be good. I want to buy a big bottle of drinks so that I can drink over the course of the next two weeks. This is the only chocolate milk I can find. I don't know. All right. Oh, fuck. Just bought stuff. It's heavy because I got two bottles of water and one bottle of chocolate milk in there. Um, but hey, at least I got snacks here. Fuck you, Trader Joe's. Fuck you. Um, yeah. I almost had a panic attack in there. So, uh, yeah, finally got some snacks. I got rid of the Oreo bucket, small bucket. Holy shit, what the fuck? Um, uh, but I got the, um, I got some snacks. I got Twinkies because I want to try them, but they're very small. I got a biscuit, a pack of biscuits. I got uh, some sour worm candy things, some gummy. Um, that's about it. Uh, disinfectant wipes. One bottle left. I'm so lucky. All right, so right now I have two options. I can either buy food here or I can buy food somewhere else. Now I see Starbucks over there. Maybe I should go there and have a little look. All right, this is Ralph's. Wait, oh, Starbucks is right here. All right. Uh, it's just sandwiches. I'm leaving. All right. I'm gonna take a bus back home and, uh, okay, no, 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 I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna take a bus back home and a station before I get home. Uh, there should be a McDonald's nearby. I'm gonna go in, grab a burger, a meal set maybe, have a nice, nice, nice meal. And um, I'm gonna carry two bags, go back home, eat at home. That's all for today. Can't believe I came all the way here just to buy some snacks. All right. Damn, this bag is way heavier than I thought it would be. Um, I, uh, I don't feel so fucking good, actually. I want to die. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I miss Hong Kong. I just want to go home. There's a rat. I saw a rat. I don't know where it went, but I just saw a rat. Well, what a great place to live in. Welcome to uh, welcome to LA folks. Welcome to LA. 
Also, the next bus is in 11 minutes. 11 fucking minutes. I'm carrying this bag. I want to put it on the chair, but it's so fucking dirty. And my hands are breaking apart because the weather's so fucking dry. Oh my god, everything about this place, man, everything. Great. I know you can't see it, but it's raining slightly right now. Yes, let's do it. Yes, make it worse. Let's go. Yes, do it. How am I gonna buy McDonald's now, huh? How the fuck am I gonna buy McDonald's now? I'm only asking for food. What the? Okay, the raining's gone a little better. Um, it's still raining slightly though. The cars are driving even though it's it's a green light. I don't know why. All right, here it is, McDonald's. I need to pull with my hands. So temporarily. Can I take out? All right, they're so fucking heavy, so fucking expensive. It's nine point six dollars for a Big Mac meal, and uh, I wanted to buy more, but it's too expensive. I gotta walk back home. Hope it doesn't rain. I'm. It's uh, how do, I don't have two hands. I have two hands. I'm fucking. Sixteen, four sixteen right now, four sixteen. I gotta use my hands. Oh my god, oh, this is a mess. All right, time now is four fifty-five p.m. I just washed my hair. Um. Yep, it's hurting again. Um. Yay. Um. <clears throat> I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. It'll be dinner time in about three, uh, two hours, so I, I don't fucking care anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some homework. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to um, hang on to this for three months. I love my life. Um, just a dinner, and the dinner is KFC. <sighs> yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it down right now because they're outside the door, I think. But yeah, I had McDonald's for lunch, and then... About two and a half hours later, I had KFC for dinner. Three pieces of fried chicken. Today's the, the unhealthiest day I've had in my whole life. <sighs> Did I even eat vegetables today? I don't think I've had a single piece of vegetable today. I don't think I, I have that. <laughs> oh shit. I can't function like this. I have to have vegetables tomorrow. You know, it, it's great. I will eat vegetables tomorrow because the, my grandma's friend is going to give me a ride to Chinatown. And goddamn, I will hoard vegetables. You know, give me a vegan meal. Okay, this is the only piece of vegetable I'm going to eat all day. Kiwi. And um, I thought the host is asleep. So I sneaked outside, brought my kiwi from that from that box. Grabbed a knife, grabbed a plate, whatever. And then the hoe showed up. Fuck. So she asked me, oh no, you're using the wrong knife. You shouldn't be using the butter knife. You should be using the fruit knife. God, I don't even, I can't even fucking tell the difference. I don't care as long as I cut it, okay? And then, oh, 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 where did you get this kiwi? And I don't even want to fucking answer her. Oh my God. All right. I ate some kiwis and I watched the movie for like two minutes and guess what the fuck happened? As if it's not bad enough, the woman had to knock on my door and stop me and tell me that I can't eat fucking kiwis in this room. And then proceeded to talk to me about tomorrow's plans. Oh my fucking god. Let me have some fucking privacy for fuck's sakes. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I, I, I can't. 